All right, so this is the recording for the 2.09 OMS math quiz, the reteach. Make sure you work out the problems while you watch the video. Uh, it's a little large. Let me try to make it a little smaller. Okay, so 8x minus 2 is equal to negative 9 plus uh, 6x. So 8x, I'm just write it a little bit bigger here. So I'm gonna, I want my variables on the same side. So I'm going to start by put, doing set, uh, subtracting 6x from both sides. Those cancel, then 8x minus the 6x is 2x. And I still have minus 2 and then negative 9. So I have 2x minus 2 on the left side, so I need to add 2 to both sides. This cancels, so I have 2x, negative 9 plus 2. Use your calculator or remember your integer rules. It's going to be negative 7. And then we're going to divide by 2. This cancels. So you're just going to leave it as that fraction, negative 7 halves. All right, now next question. What is the value of x when negative 25x, or times parentheses, x minus 4 is equal to negative 55 parentheses x minus 10. All right, so we're going to start with distributive property. We have to multiply the 20, negative 25x or 25 by x, and that's negative 25x. And then you multiply it by the negative 4. Remember that minus sign, minus 4, is the same as plus negative. So negative 25 times negative 4 is 100. Do the same thing on the right side. We're going to use distributive property. That's negative 55. So now we have negative 55x. And again, this is minus 10, so it's going to be plus negative. Negative 55 times a negative 10 is going to be a positive 550. I need my variables on the same side, so I'm going to add, that's a negative 55x, I'm going to add 55x to both sides. Cancels out on the right side, and then you have negative 25 plus 55. Put it into your calculator, or remember your integer rules, it's going to be 30x plus 100 is equal to 550. All right, then we're going to subtract 100 from both sides. This cancels, and then I have 30x. 550 minus 100 is going to be 450. Last step, divide by 30. You should put it into your calculator. They are both positives. 30s cancel. All right, should be 15. Check your calculator to make sure. All right, make sure to write this in your math notebook. Next question, I have 6x plus 15 is equal to 8x plus 45. Right, so I want the variables on the same side. You can subtract 8x or the 6x, doesn't matter. I just like, for some reason I like having the variable on the left side, but you can do it either way. All right, so then you have 6x minus 8x. So that's in your calculator, it's going to be 6 minus 8. 
integer rules. It's the same as 6 plus negative 8. So it's negative 2x. And we still have the 15 and then 45. I have plus 15, so we're going to subtract 15 from both sides. That cancels. 45 minus 15, that's going to give me 30. I'm going to divide by negative 2. The 2's cancel. Then you have 30 divided by negative 2. It's going to be negative, put in your calculator, negative 15. Next one, we have negative 6 plus 12x is equal to 7x minus 10. I think the variable is on the same side, so I'm going to subtract 7x from both sides. This cancels, and then I have negative 6, then you have 12 minus the 7x is 5x and that minus 10, so you have negative 10. We're going to add 6 to both sides. This cancels. Negative 10 plus 6, put it into your calculator, or just remember the integer rules, it's going to give you negative 4. Our answer you're going to leave as a fraction. You're going to divide by 5. 5's cancel over there, so x is negative 4 fifths. So the answer is C for this one. All right, model and solve. So it's going to, we're going to write the equation for this first. These are all positives. Now, and those are my x's, so I have 6x. These are negatives, and there are 6 of them, so that's minus 6. Then there's 2x. These are positives, so it's plus 4. All right, so now we're going to let me scroll up a little. Put the x, get the x's on the same side. Variables have to be together. So I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. This cancels. 6x minus 2x is 4x. And then minus 6. And we have 4 here. Isolate the variable. We're going to first add 6 to both sides. This cancels. Then I have 4x. 4 plus 6 is 10. Notice the answers are decimal answers. So you can put it into your calculator. And go ahead. X is going to be whatever 10 divided by 4 is. It is going to be positive. So put that in your calculator and you should get 2.5. All right, that's the last question. So if you need another attempt or want another attempt, please make sure you do email me. Um, if I'm out of town, please be patient. Thank you.